أسعد الله اوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف رجل أو سيدة أعمال رحبوا معنا اليوم برائدة الأعمال المميزة والجميلة مدام مريم من اسمي فاين جولري هاي مدام يا هلا In the beginning, <laughs> special welcome from Business Pioneer Program from ABC TV, and we are curious to know more about you and about your beginning with your journeys. So, first of all, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to know more about uh, Ismi Fine Jewelry and myself. Um, so, my background is French Algerian, and I always uh, loved and like uh, Arabic calligraphy. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't find a lot of uh, jewelry that was uh, made of that in France. So uh, once I moved to UAE, I decided to create the uh, first jewelry for myself. And then I took this uh, hobby to a passion and now um, it's a full business. So Madame, can you tell us more about your designs? How do you aspire to make these designs and what's special about your jewelry? Um, if you see the name itself of the uh, creation is Ismi. So I work a lot about and around the name of the person. Um, so I will work with the initials, names of your beloved one or also nice proverbs that people like. Uh, and I will, uh, I will use also different uh, calligrapher, depends um, uh, where they are and also what the customer needs and I will do a calligraphy with the name and then we will do it in a bangle or in a ring or simple just Arabic letters in a necklace, for example, or on a chain ring. So um, my jewelry is uh, usually bought by uh, ladies, but I have to say that I have also a lot of gentlemen, father, brothers, uh, who want to make a gift for their loved uh, one. Uh, usually, I would say the ladies that buy, for example, this um, beautiful uh, eyeglasses chain is made on 18 karat gold and I'm the only concept who's doing it. Um, I have three of them and the particularity actually of Ismi Fine Jewelry is that each of my creation has been given a city name. So, for example, this one has been called Venezia. Uh, which is one of the most beautiful city in Italy. And uh, you will be surprised, this has been also bought by men. And the good thing about it, that it's multifunctional. You can also unhook the uh, small attach that you have here, and you can wear it also as a necklace. Madame, after all of this success you reach, what's your future plan and what's your vision for yourself? Um, depends how you uh, actually uh, define success. Uh, I don't want to be successful alone. I want uh, really to make sure that whatever I have extra is distributed to others. Madam, through your long experience as a businesswoman in different locations out of UAE and inside UAE, what's your advice for anyone who's interested to start a new business? So for each uh, entrepreneur, um, I think they have to be willing to sacrifice. And it's uh, very easy to say, but uh, you will have to sacrifice on maybe holidays or luxury uh, dining out. Uh, you also have to sacrifice your time, um, especially if you are an auto entrepreneur. Um, so I will say always try because there is so much you can learn by uh, doing uh, things on your own as an entrepreneur, but in the same time, people need to understand the investment of time, energy, and also money, because uh, you need uh, also a little bit of a support for that. So I created my business while I was uh, working on a different job, and I have to say that for at least five years, I will take only Sunday off. I will work. Even if there is a party, I will miss it out. I didn't mind. So if you have uh, what we call FOMO, the fear of missing out, you will have to think twice before becoming an entrepreneur. In the end, what's your <laughs> message for UAE and the rulers here for all the safety, the security, and the support for the investors? Uh, I think um, a lot of people come here with so much dreams. 
So if there is anything that can be done from the government, for example, uh, I will say to reduce the cost of the trade license for new entrepreneurs, that will help. And also have many more platforms where people can um, you know, share what is their idea and who they are as an entrepreneur because networking is, uh, is the best and also the most difficult to make when you are a single uh, entrepreneur. And also, uh, I have to say that I felt safe um, as a woman uh, to be able to open a jewelry business in uh, UAE because when we think about it, most of the jewelers are men. And uh, here I felt that I had enough support uh, to be able to uh, create in a safe environment in UAE. And this, I'm really glad about it. In the end, would you please tell all the people who's watching you where is your location and how they can find your jewelries? Sure. So, um, obviously, there is now the online platform uh, because a lot of people um, now use that, especially the youth. Um, but you can also find me in a concept store in Jumeirah, one called Zamors. And I actually choose them because the location is a prime location and they embrace a lot of different artists. And this is the only concept stores that have my uh, jewelry. Um, because they really align with my um, actually values. Thank you very much, Madam, and we thank all the staff here. We hope you all the best and the whole success in the world. Thank you so much, Abdel Razak. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, UAE, and big kiss to everyone. Thank you. إلى هنا تنتهي حلقة اليوم. تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC. دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله.